good morning so we are not starting a new chapter but before we start a new chapter we will first understand balancing of chemical equation yes we should know how we have to balance a given chemical equation but before that we should know that why we have to balance a chemical equation why cannot we go ahead with the equation given to that why we have to balance chemical equation because number of atoms involved in the reactant side should be equal to the number of atoms in the product side that means suppose if i take a magnesium ribbon and i burn that in the presence of oxygen right that means i'm burning magnesium ribbon what is the by product i get i get magnesium oxide right so now here this are called as reactant why because magnesium is reacting with oxygen and the product what we got here is magnesium oxide is the product so the number of atoms involved in the reactant side should be equal to the number of atoms in the product side that means magnesium has how many atoms here one atom so in reactant magnesium has only one atom in the product magnesium also has one atom clear in the reactant side oxygen has how many atoms two atoms and in the product side oxygen has how many atoms only one atom so do you think this is balanced no this is not a balanced equation that means this type of a equation is called as a skeletal equation unbalanced equations are called as a skeletal equation so we have to always balance skeletal equation we are not supposed to keep a equation without balancing because number of atoms in the reactant should always be equal to the number of atoms in the product that means we are satisfying the law of conservation of mass you have studied law of conservation of mass in your 9th standard so it has to satisfy what does law of conservation of mass tell us according to the law the law the mass of the product in a chemical reaction must be equal to the mass of the reactant that is what which we understood here so to satisfy the law of conservation of mass we have to balance the given chemical equation right now let us see few examples of balancing chemical equation why not we we'll start with the first example itself what we have taken to balance the chemical equation one always needs to write the given equation first so we we'll first write magnesium plus oxygen will give you magnesium oxide now your the doubt here starts is i have written ngo2 ngo why haven't i written ngo2 again if you could recall your ninth standard in atoms and molecules or more about atom structure you studied something about valency there right you studied about valency valence electrons how do we write it how do we cross multiply those valence electrons of the given elements and then we arrive at the formula here i will not be discussing any more about how to arrive at the chemical equation here why because this you have already studied in your 9th standard if not please take out your 9th standard book see how to frame a chemical or how to frame a compound like this where you should be very well known what are valencies valence electron on that basis we come to a conclusion right okay so we got here magnesium oxide now this is a skeletal equation to balance the equation we have several methods i will go with the method what is given in your textbook which is nothing but a trial and error method and that is the most the simplest method there are many methods see there is mathematical method where we apply where we use lcm lcm technique to solve there but quite lengthy enough this is the most simplest and the easiest method to understand 
but uh, rule wise while approaching to this slight changes are made in this so whenever you have this first of all we need to identify which are the elements given in the equation overall let me write down the elements given here what are the elements elements are magnesium then oxygen right only two elements are there always remember while writing down the elements of the given reaction write on any order oxygen should always be at the end now here we have only two elements so i have written at the end only but do remember oxygen any number of elements you have oxygen is always written at the end and second last is hydrogen always keep this in mind while balancing the chemical equation any of the elements can come for example nitrogen phosphorus anything can come oxygen always last and hydrogen before oxygen it is second last remember this okay so what we will see here now is now to the reactant side magnesium is one yes to the product side magnesium is one both are one we'll put a tick mark here why not here why only here i'll tell you that next let me go to oxygen oxygen is two right in the reactant side in the product side oxygen is one they are balanced no they are not balanced that means you have to balance this but you cannot write two here we cannot change the balances of the given elements right balances will be fixed based on the balance only we have written but we write now two here because magnesium oxide is one you have written two here but if you have written two here two is for magnesium also right but wait we will not touch magnesium now we will go one after the other oxygen is two i made oxygen two here balanced yes balance okay let me cross verify now magnesium is one magnesium is two not balanced what should i do here add two here now magnesium is two magnesium is two balanced yes put another tick oxygen is two oxygen is two put another tick <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so this is how we balance the chemical equation now i have written few equation here let's balance them these are all skeletal equations which we need to balance so the first one we did that as sodium phosphate plus potassium hydroxide will give you sodium hydroxide plus potassium phosphate now again here sometimes the equations are given not in this form they are given in the written form verbal equation they are given that means what happens when sodium phosphate reacts with potassium hydroxide you should know how to write sodium phosphate potassium hydroxide now how to write that which you have already done in your ninth standard cross multiplication of those elements with their valencies we write it yes we we'll go with the first one so it is sodium phosphate plus potassium hydroxide will give you sodium hydroxide plus potassium phosphate okay i think i gave too much of space here okay let's balance now we have to first identify the elements jot down all the elements what are the elements here i have sodium then i have phosphorus i will not write oxygen immediately because we are supposed to write oxygen at the end after that what do we have we have potassium that is k again oxygen is there hydrogen is there any other element we have missed out sodium phosphorus and potassium done then i will write here hydrogen and oxygen as we have discussed oxygen at the last before that should be hydrogen okay now let's start checking sodium is in the reactant side sodium is 
Sodium is one, so I should make this three. I'll write here three. Balanced, it's balanced. Come to the next one. Phosphorus is one. Phosphorus is one. Balanced, yes, balanced. Oxygen and the last we are seeing. So don't even touch. We will go accordingly how we have written. Potassium. Potassium is one. Potassium is three. So I'll write here three. Balanced. Yes. Balanced. Hydrogen. Hydrogen here is how much now? We have to count with this because this three when I add it is to the whole compound. So it is hydrogen is three. Here hydrogen is how much? Three again. Balanced. Yes. Balanced. Last is left is oxygen. Oxygen is how much here? Four. Oxygen is how much here? Three. Four plus three, seven. Okay. Oxygen is how much here? Three. Oxygen is how much here? Four. Three plus four, seven. Balanced. Yes. Now we have to cross check once again. Now why should we cross check? Because sometime while balancing, we will balance the equation there also, but we will not here because of the uh, elements. So cross checking will again make us sure that all the elements are properly, that is reactant and uh, product are properly balanced. We will cross check. Sodium is 3, sodium is 3. Balance. Now understood? This double tick will give you an easy answer. Next. Phosphorus is 1, phosphorus is 1. Balance. Potassium is 3, potassium is 3. Balance. Hydrogen is 3, Hydrogen is 3. Balanced. Oxygen 4 plus 3 is 7. Oxygen 3 plus 4 is 7. Balanced. Did we balance it here? Yes. That means we balance the second equation. Shall we move on to the third equation now? I will just clear this. Okay. This equation will start now. How do we read this? Copper plus HeNO3 is read as silver nitrate. HeNO3 will give you CuNO3 twice is read as copper nitrate. Now why this is twice everything which you have done last year. So this is copper NO3 twice plus silver. One thing please remember here. When we use a bracket and when we write it, we read this as 6. That means nitrogen, how many atoms? 6 atoms. Oxygen, I'm sorry, not 6 atoms. Nitrogen, 2 atoms. Oxygen, 3 twos are 6 atoms. We multiply this to whole. Nitrogen is 2, oxygen is 6. That is how we read it, okay? Now again, as per our rule, we will write down all the elements. So I will write first copper. After copper, I will write silver. After silver, I will write nitrogen. Anything else is there apart from copper, nitrogen and silver? Last left is oxygen. Oxygen always at the end. Let us count. Copper is 1, copper is 1. Balanced? Balance. Silver is 1, silver is 1. Balanced. Nitrogen is 1. Nitrogen is 2. So, I will write here 2. Okay. But now silver also became 2 here. Don't touch silver now. That is why single tick we have given. While double tick will cross verify that. So, silver was 1 here. Silver was, no sorry. Nitrogen was 1 here. Nitrogen was 2. That is why we made it 2. Nitrogen is balanced now. Yes, balanced. Oxygen. Oxygen here 3 and here 2. So how it will be? Now it is 3 over here. So how do you multiply that? 6. Why 6? You are multiplying this. 2 3s are 6. Here 3 2s are 6. So we will write here now 6 oxygen, 6 oxygen. Done. Balanced? Yes. Balanced. Let us cross verify now again. Copper is 1, copper is 1. Balance? Yes, balance. Silver is 2, silver is 1. Balanced? 
no that means i will put two here now silver okay copper is balanced now silver is balanced yes silver is balanced nitrogen is two nitrogen is two balanced oxygen two threes are six oxygen two threes are six balanced now see one difference what i'll tell you here is oxygen when i was reading this is three times this is two times i made it six times let me come and take it here but here let me when adding four times and three times we are adding it here if the same thing was here like this oxygen would be how much three twos are six okay so when we have in different places we just add them same equation we just multiply them do not get confused in this and this here now is this very clear so this is why that is why i told first we tick here second time while cross checking sometimes we balance for one element but second element gets again extra number for that we do the second time verification this is the balancing of chemical equation last one i have written i just try to finish it here or we finish it here now it will be easy so this is read as third one carbon fluoride plus bromine will give you carbon bromide plus fluorine okay we don't have oxygen only here so not to worry write the elements carbon fluorine and bromine carbon is one carbon is one balanced fluorine is four fluorine is two so i make two here two two is a four balanced bromine is two bromine is four i make this two 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 is a four bromine is four balanced let's cross verify carbon is one carbon is one balanced fluorine is four two two is a fluorine is four balanced bromine is four bromine is four balanced right this is how we balance the chemical equations whenever never you are not supposed to keep the equation in the skeletal form always it has to be kept in the balanced form why to satisfy the law of conservation of mass that is number of atoms in the reactant should be always equal to number of atoms in the product so for our coming chapters what we are doing this is very very important now there again and again i will not teach why i wrote two here three here i will straight away write the balanced equation only because i assume that we will understand here very well to what i have taught and we we'll practice very well so what i want you all to do now is in your textbook or in the given book there are many equations oh, you can write the skeletal equations start balancing them so that you will have a correct idea of what is a given equation how to balance it more and more equations you balance more and more you are perfect in balancing chemical equation because you will come across with number of equations now for example this was very simple uh, this also was very simple this was a bit not complicated but what happened we went to balance one thing but another one we added something so second time in re-verification we found that silver was not balanced it was extra we added so we had to balance again such equations when you go on practicing you will be perfect in balancing chemical equation understand first go with the simple balancing then try to balance all the equations given in the book so in today's class whatever we have learned understood if you have any doubts you can call on the same day of the video sent so that our next session we will start with the chapter chemical reaction and equations thank you